Okay, our presentation is Frank Abengill, Antisocial Mastermind by Avery, Chris, Emily, and myself. So our movie was Catch Me If You Can, and it uh, is about Frank Abengill. Um, he, his journey, on his journey of manipulation and check fraud, uh, he does this by, he first portrays as a Pan American pilot, and he also makes checks that resemble a Pan American check. Um, once the FBI start, starts to catch on to him, he goes and becomes a doctor where he manipulates more people and uh, starts serving as a doctor. And then he runs away again, but then is able to manipulate even more people to think that he is a lawyer. So Frank's um, disorder is antisocial personality disorder, and this is when an individual has pervasive patterns of disregard for and violation of the rights of others that begins within childhood or early ad 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 adolescence and continues into adulthood. Furthermore, the film's culture context could impact this diagnosis because during the film, everyone is so concerned and worried about what class you're in and how much material worth you have. Even Frank's own mother was so involved with wanting to be wealthy, and once she and her family did not have any more money, she felt ashamed and, felt and started to sleep with rich men to compensate for what she no longer had. Because of this, she gets a divorce to Frank's father, which causes Frank to run away and start his grand adventure of check fraud and doing everything in his power to become wealthy with lots of materialistic goods. Because of Frank's parents' divorce, we're able to see how his trauma and his disorder started to develop throughout the movie. We're able to see because how, how this was such a big, how that took such a big toll in his life and it triggered his trauma and how he started using uh, different methods to basically try to cope with how he was feeling, which came up to him having this disorder. Uh, he blamed others for his problems. In this case, in the movie, he blamed the IRS for breaking apart his family and which caused his parents' divorce. He breaks the law by committing forgery and fraud. He manipulated others into believing something he wasn't, just how we were able to see that he was a pilot, doctor, and lawyer. And she, he showed no remorse towards anyone or either himself at some points because he only cared about himself and trying to gained everything that he had lost because of his parents divorce uh, we're able to see many different types of evidence but these are the ones that made the biggest impact on the whole movie and how we're able to notice how antisocial disorder was frank Abingo. so while there is no set effective treatment for antisocial personality disorder if i had to recommend one it would be psychoanalytic therapy and in this therapy, Frank would participate in free association where he would speak his mind. And then an interpreter or the therapist in this case would be would go through interpretation and figure out his underlying motives, emotions, and his true self. Um, ethical issues which <clears throat> arise with treatment is first criminal comparison. So uh, the same exploitative and manipulative nature of Frank is very similar to those of criminals. And so some people believe that he should be treated as such. He should be treated cruelly. And they believe that the treatment is kind of like just a way for him to get out of his criminal problems. And second off, the second ethical issue, issue would be the right to autonomy. <clears throat> and so forcing someone to completely swap their personality um, for pro-social behavior and to succumb to societal norms is something that maybe not everyone like should do. And it's something that if changing someone's personality for the better of good is ethically correct or not. Finally, considering Frank has already served his sentence and is currently working with the FBI, there should be no barriers which hinder his treatment. Broader, uh, broader perspectives. Um, so the antisocial disorder that Frank has, um, throughout the movie, they do a good job of showing uh, how he suffers from it and what he does with it uh, through manipulating people and um, you know, not having to care for other people. Um, disorders in movies as a whole, um, they can be misleading to people because somebody in real life is suffering way more from that same disorder than what they would show in the movies. Um, so to better understand this, you could go and talk to patients that are actually struggling with it. And that is our presentation.